am I this disappointed and aroused at the same time? They, they've done something very unique here. Oh, I'm going in deep. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to dive into the exotic underground and tantalizing uh, custom countertops at Ikea and any other knickknacks that you buy while you're there, I guess. On a previous video of ours, we needed some granite for a fireplace project. I'll link the video down below in the description in case you want to check her out. But what we didn't show on that video is the sketchiness that we had to go through to get that piece of granite. I'm not saying the granite and stone companies around here aren't legit, but one of them had granite in the name and didn't have a single piece of granite in the building, and the other one sold us a remnant of granite only to have them call and say it was no longer in stock. But it was, it was there when we picked it out, but they sold it to somebody else after we made the order. So... So when I found out that Ikea not only sold countertops, but were doing a 15% off special, which they do a couple times a year, color me intrigued with quartz. Here's all the different price points for the different levels of stone. We went with Atlantic Salt because it couldn't possibly offend anyone, and kind of just looks good uh, with everything. So now that we've left the Ikea, we've got some work to do on the actual kitchen before they can come in here. She's, she's a beaut, Clark. This area right here looks just a little dated. This area is so small it's it's useless. I use it for storing a single banana. This whole recessed area is confusing and beautiful. Don't even really know why we're taking it out. And over here is just the coffee station, which is honestly one of the nicer parts of the kitchen, sadly. This is where you put your sustainable dryer sheet wool fuzzball things. Um, next, to your, next to your coffee maker. So I'll just put it here. That makes sense. And then, um, uh, you go here, I guess. Oh, that sounded broken. So I've decided to tackle this section by section. So I'm not quite sure how this is attached. It's either silicone, which is my man, <laughs> which is what I'm hoping for, or they've done some of those crappy L brackets in the back of the cabinets that you never know where they are. Oh. We could have also, <laughs> sorry, there was actually an elusive third option, which includes just not mounting it. Now we gotta knock this whole section out of the park. And I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't been in it to win it this year. My plan worked uh, perfectly. If you just start bending it hard enough, things are gonna start snapping. And then they'll eventually start breaking. Now that this guy is loose, we can kind of lift up and disconnect everything. And because the mounting method that they utilized is uh, gravity <laughs> to make sure it stayed put. There's the stupid mounting method I was hoping for. Yeah, so it, it makes sense that uh, we've got an insane number of L brackets in this particular area. This whole thing likes to try to float away and they prevented that by apparently getting paid for the number of brackets they installed four minutes ago when I removed all 308 screws from this thing. Get out of here! Get out of here! No, oh, let me guess, there's probably some brackets in that corner. You've gotta be kidding me. Like, I'm not completely against just leaving her like this and just having like a permanent, you know, chopping board to cut vegetables on in front of a view of my shed. Now I gotta clean all the garbage out of this side. Uh, as you can tell, the spice rack's got a lot of dust on it because I'm not a big spice racker. And then we got some utensils that I just don't even know what half of those are for. Um, got a margarita shaker. <laughs> know how to use that, quite dangerous with one. And then my main cooking uh, appliance, the microwave and whatever they call that thing that heats up Pop-Tarts. Just check out that wool ball bulge. Ah, okay, so the sink's 
Well, the sink's the sink, and there's no water coming out of it, so that means one or two things. Either the water is supercharging itself and waiting for me to disconnect it before it explodes, which is very possible, or the water pressure, you know, actually shut off. Now the amount of water that's coming out all over my hand tells me it was the latter. Now we can lift up on this without a few. Those noises, man, what is going on back there? Well, did you look at that? This got installed 11 25 1992 uh, That means these have been installed for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're at 20. 94, 93. Yeah, at least 17 years ago this got installed. <laughs> Amazing. My wife has said that she doesn't need no big strong man in her life, but I really feel like I could use a big strong man in my life. She comes home tonight to be my muscles to, to actually pull this thing out without causing a hernia. Now with all my powers of movie editing, I bring you a fully finished kitchen. Well, the cabinets. Fully finished countertop kitchen. Just let all those smooth kitchen lines lull you into relaxation. There's a beautiful undermount sink because, um, yep. And then we got a new faucet. This one's Glacier Bay, so you know it's nice. We used the old disposal because that would have broken the budget. Here's my old corner where I stored the banana. Unfortunately, I don't have a banana, so here's that, that space again. Uh, this, this recessed area, would you believe it? Yeah, so it's not recessed anymore. <laughs> we also did this crazy trick that just involved me cutting the trim around the window instead of using caulk as a tile. So, I know, crazy. And then we've got a fresh new looking coffee workstation, which is basically just the same stuff, just set back on the new countertop. I know the real question here that everybody's asking is, Matt, the banana. Did you seriously eat a banana? No, they're disgusting. They disgust me. But I know the real question on everybody's minds is would we do IKEA custom countertops again? The answer is yes. Not only was it 110-12% easy to get and all the people there were super chill, the contractors that they used were also super awesome and it was reasonably priced with the 15% off coupon. There's the thing. So whenever I've purchased granite before, or any kind of stone, it always comes with a basic edge included for free. Their countertops, no matter what edge you chose, always had a cost associated with it. So remember that when going in there for the 15% off discounts on your bad boys that you yeah, have to spend a couple extra bucks per foot to get what other companies include. Is it a bad deal? No, just something to remember. So if you like all this, uh, like it or subscribe. Do do one of those. That would make me feel better at night. But also comment down below about, you know, things that keep you up at night. I want to hear about it.